Hi guys, so today we are going to review the magnetic eyelashes that these ones were from June and these ones were from Wish. The ones from June I got in a 001 and the ones from Wish, um, it doesn't say. So the ones from June came in a pack of eight and the ones from Wish came in a pack of four. Um, Neither of them came with instructions, so I have gone online. I've um, got my tablet down here, um, and I've just watched a couple of things on um, YouTube on how to apply them. They say that they're meant to have a red dot in the middle of the magnet to identify the bottom ones, but they don't, so... Um, I guess the ones that are a little bit longer go on the top. I'm not 100% sure, we, we shall see. So it says that you should be able to learn how to do them within 30 seconds. I don't think so somehow from, from some of the videos I have watched. So anyway, I'm gonna zoom this in a bit so that we can have my eyes. Oops, oh goodness, that zoomed in a lot, didn't it? Um, how far do we need it zoomed? Let's move this up a bit. Sorry guys, oh no, wrong way, oh my God. Aha, uh -huh. right, so that should, do we have my eyes? Okay, so my eyes are very red and have big bags because I have had a very, very emotional couple of days, but anyway, okay, so let's try with the wish ones first, the pack of four. So I'm going to take the top row on the right and just presume that that's the top one for your right eye. So supposedly, right, let's see if we can get this off. Because they've got this weird sticky stuff that they're stuck onto. From the looks of it, it's kind of ruining the lashes. Let me try and hold this up high enough. Okay. So, um... Sorry, my computer is going very slow to my, oh God, I dropped it, to my camera. So I'm trying to get this in frame for you guys. So that's, if you can see the little magnet there. But I can see a lot of plastic on the edge there. I don't know if you guys can as well, but on the edges to the left and right, I can see some plastic. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that's meant to be there or not. Hmm. Okay, so... Let's take the bottom one. I mean, I think this is the top row. I mean, it opens upside down. So I'm gonna take the bottom one off as well, ready. So that's the bottom one. Looks a bit like the top one. Gosh, it's got a lot of excess. And I don't know if you can see on this one, but some of the lashes are sticking up here. Ah, uh, let me, can I get it into? Oh my life, my camera is really weird. It's because I've zoomed in as well, guys, so I'm sorry about this. All right, so. <coughs> poke those lashes down. <coughs> Apparently, I have got a mirror behind the camera, but I might need to use my little trusty one here. Okay, so apparently you just plop it in the center of the top that didn't work so apparently you I just get it the right way well what I think is the right way anyway pop it on the center of your eyelash uh that doesn't really look correct, but okay. You get the second one and you apparently wait for it to clip. No, no. Okay, so the top one stayed on. And the bottom one came off. Let's try that again. This is making my eye water. Oh gosh. Have a look. 
Oh, I felt that clip. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Oh, that hurts. Oh, oh, let me try and adjust that. Oh, I think I've got my eyelid. Ow. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I kind of have it on. My eye is now watering. Oh. Oh. Oh, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on a minute. Hold on. My eye is watering. I feel like it is stuck to my eyelid, so I'm just going to try and adjust it. Uh. Oh no, now it's just hanging on the edge, look. Okay, so, look what my eyes are doing from that, guys. They are streaming. Now, I know I've got sensitive eyes and stuff, but, whoa. I really felt like that pinched my eyelid. Um... And when it did come on, after my eyes fluttered uh, a couple of times, as you saw, it moved a bit. So I'm trying to separate these right now. Oh no. Oh, I did it. Ah! Where did it go? Now, ah... Uh, after my eyes have kind of stopped I don't know which is the top and bottom now but I don't know if you can see that it's still got hairs sticking out I keep trying to push them down but the magnet's in the way so let's try this one more time hopefully my eyes don't water as much so let's see if I can do it with both hands instead okay so we no I need my mirror I am waiting for another mirror to come in the post, one of those freestanding ones, because my last one, when I used to wear contact lenses um, to make my pupil round, um, I lost it when I was moving one of the time. Actually, do you know what? It's pink and it's got this weird splat on the bottom. And actually, last time I think I saw it, it was actually in my mum's bathroom. Yeah. And I don't go to the house, and I haven't gone to the house in about six years. So that's how long ago I've seen it. So let's try this again. Uh, I haven't really got very long natural eyelashes anyway. So we have... It doesn't even feel like it's sitting right. We supposedly have that one on the top. We're going to try and snap it with the bottom one again. Let's see. You see? Oh, that went a bit better. But if it, it just feels really weird and like it should be covering more of the eyelash. Oh look guys, it's coming off again, look. See that? Oh. Alright. The verdict for the wish ones. Either I'm not doing it right. My eyelashes are either not built for these. Or they're just general rubbish. So that was the wish ones. My eye generally feels really weird from that. What happens if you're wearing them, yeah, and the magnet comes off and falls, like, into your eye or goes underneath your eyelid or something? That would be weird and painful, and you'd probably... Yow. Okay, so we're going to try these ones, the ones from June. Uh, we may as well give them a go. I don't have high hopes for these ones now. So I'm going to leave the camera zoomed in whilst we do this one and then I shall unzoom it so that you haven't got too much of my ugly face, okay? So I'm really pleased that I didn't spend £80 on these. I'm pleased that I tried the cheaper version first because, you know, the expensive version is going to be 
Now am I meant to put two of these on the top and then two? Because surely you don't put any on your bottom eyelid. Eyelash. I don't know. But anyway, I'm pleased that I didn't spend £80 on these because um, I'm sure the £80 ones would have been exactly the same as these cheap ones. Um, so this is the one from June. It's got the tiny magnet. That... Oh, sugar, I dropped it. It has got the tiny magnet at the top. And it has got the... It has got excess, but not as much excess uh clear bit stuff that i was on about okay so let's give these a go i have no clue how to do these ones either because yet again no dot for the top or bottom no indications at all um so i'm guessing that that's the right eye because it flicks more to the right I don't know hmm we'll see we shall see okay feel like I can see something black on my eyelid now He's best not be marking me. Let's try and get this a bit straighter. So hard. Don't know how you guys do eyelashes every day. Okay, so I think I have that one far enough back. And we shall see you guys. Do you see that? I'm trying not to blink my eye too much because the more I move it, the more it moves the eyelash so I'm gonna try and clap clap clasp clip magnetize this one onto the bottom of that one I just feel that they keep slipping forward on the eyelash and they don't sit back where they're meant to um, if you rub your eye these are definitely going to come off so that's how those ones sit I really have not got these on properly I can tell because when I close my eye I can see the corner maybe you are meant to put two on so that you don't see the corner right, I just need to get my mirror again because I can't see really into that one right now Try and move it so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to push the eyelashes back a bit towards the base of my eyelid and it's proving real hard. Okay, right, we're going to try that one. We are going to try that one one more time. Oh shit. Okay. Sorry, I just realised I said a swear word, didn't I? God. On the eyelid. Eyelash, even. Don't even know if I'm putting the correct one on. Oh goodness. You see, even if you just misplace it, ever so much and it magnetizes onto it you just can't see it just comes straight off i'm just going to give up with those guys bear with me let me just unzoom this that's better you don't have to see so close up of this <laughs> um right my review of these wow I'm just sticking them back in the packet. That's, uh... I am very pleased I did not spend £80 or more on these. I'm really pleased that I was very cheap. 
and I wanted to try the cheaper version before I got the expensive version. The expensive version will work exactly the same as the cheap versions and I, oh shoot, sorry, I personally would not, well I would say I personally would not waste my money on it but obviously I did. So to all of you out there that are thinking about getting magnetic eyelashes, stick with your own. Stick with these, okay? Because these, A, you can hardly get them on. B, when you do manage to place them together, they slide off so easily. C, if you go to rub your eye, boom, gone. D, what happens if the little magnet comes off and goes in your eye? E, oh my gosh, they just take so long to put on. Um, F, they didn't come with instructions. They didn't tell you, oh, A, B, C, D, G. They didn't tell you which is left and right. Um, yeah. That is my review on the magnetic eyelashes. <sighs> Terrible. If you guys have a different experience with them or you know a better way to put them on. I was ma thinking maybe use one of those um, things that you use, you know, for the glue on eyelashes. You know that eyelash applicator thing. Um, those metal things that you put the eyelash in between and pop it on or something. I was thinking maybe using one of those. A, I haven't got one, and B, they're magnet, they're metal, aren't they? So the magnet might stick to them. So, if you've had better joys with them, please let me know. I would be very, very interested in knowing that. Keep safe, have a beautiful day, and I'll be back with some more hauls and reviews and other stuff very soon. Bye.